Welcome back to This Is Rifle Country, and I know it looks like it's sunny, but it's freaking cold here in Rifle Country. And today, we are back out at the 50 yard range because I have a carbine in my hand. That's right, this is the universal M1 carbine, not to be confused with the mil-spec version. And you say, well, what is the difference? Don't they use the same magazines, the same ammo? Yeah, they do. But for some reason, the universal firearms company decided that they needed to be different. So they changed things up a little bit. One of the distinctive features is the heat shield. If you see a heat shield that looks like this, it's probably a universal. They changed the profile of the action so you can't swap stocks between militaries and universals. Why? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a, a line to the folks at Universal. But the gun functions essentially like a Garand style carbine. Has a wooden stock with sling loops. Obviously, we have a Garand style action here with your charging handle on that side. You got a typical barrel, typical iron sights. What are we going to use for magazines? Well, if you go online, you can find 30 round versions, or you can stick with the traditional old school World War II 15 round version. These were also called jungle clips at one time. Now, if you look real close, you'll notice you'll say, well, that looks like a blue steel magazine. And that looks kind of green. That is because what I did, I bought this gun used and it was pretty, it was pretty beat up. It had been sitting in someone's closet for a long, long time. It was pitted, it had some rush marks and so forth. So I stripped it down completely. I took it apart and I duracoated the barrel, the heat shield, the action, and one of the magazines. So if you see the green color, that's because the green color is indeed a Duracoat. If you see the shine on here, that's because I lubed it up with frog lube before we came to the range. What are we going to shoot today? Thank you for asking. Aguila Ammunition makes a 30 carbine. Matter of fact, they make a couple of different ones. This is a 30 carbine full metal jacket load. Now you guys might be thinking, is this a good gun for personal defense? The answer is yes. Uh, they make full metal jacket ammo for practice, but there are several companies that make expanding soft point ammunition. And I'm pretty sure Spear is making a gold dot still in 30 carbine. So the universal carbine in 30 carbine cartridge, is it still a good gun today? I'd say yes. 